Yo, what's up guys? So <clears throat> I hopped into some killer frequency. I saw a comment on one of my videos saying that I should play this game on stream and um, I should have my help, my chat help decide some of the decisions. Um, obviously this time I didn't, but next time if this video does well, let's do that. Let's have, let's, if you guys aren't following my Twitch already, follow it, but I will stream this and have my chat make all the decisions for me. And uh, if they kill people, they kill people. Won't feel as bad, but <laughs> hope you guys have a great day and peace. Killer frequency, killer frequency, killer frequency, killer frequency, killer frequency, killer frequency. What is this game about? Movement with WASD camera. God, my sense is really high. Meow, meow, meow. Pick up object. Bro, oh, watch up. Oh, I'm a good citizen. Picking up some trash, doing what I gotta do. Gross. That probably was for something. Like it goes this way. Hey! What the fuck was that? Press E to inspect and hold and rotate objects. Oops. Try to pick that up. What does that say? K fam. Okay. It's ass, dog. Um. Okay. Can't get in here still. I'm supposed to go down here. Let's control the couch. I ain't crouching. I ain't. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Hold on in direction. Hello. Happen. Hey, yo! my enemy this is my you hear something Peggy huh? enemy hear what I thought I heard someone yelling or I don't know how Forrest is this a joke no I, <laughs> I almost swore I heard something oh and here I was thinking you'd finally started to ease up you probably just heard some cats outside cats you know four legs whiskers tails not dogs oh, Peggy <laughs> I know what a cat is but I mean, does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready? Oh my to God! Do I can play checks? basketball. Seriously, do we have to do these checks every time? Have and to. Do you have to call him? Logo on off. Reggie pays us to check the equipment before each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. Pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to. No, let's do it. I don't know. Do All it. Right, fine. Let's get through this. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Yo, 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 it's Come Katie, on, Luke, and the Hizzle. Have fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubulants. Tubulance. Let's start with record playing. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. I made it. What? What is my aim? Oh, that was easy. Uh, Forrest, you need to grab a record and stick it on the Wait. turntable. Oh my God, I'm going crazy. One second. DJ, DJ Forrest in the hizzle, grabbing a record for the dizzle. 
Where's that? Oh, the it's right here. The record box is on Shut the up, left, bitch. and the record player is on the right. Pick a record and stick it on the turntable. Then oh, she's hit so play. so picky. Play. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. No. Press the stop button on the record. All right, player. she's getting cranky. All right, up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. All right, Peggy, ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah, it's a riot. Great, and button two works just the same. So, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Peggy button, I do. Peggy mute button. They haven't invented it yet. Now come on. I have this, the guys. The button is the third one on the phone line. What a bitch. I labeled it for you. Did it. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right. Seems to be all working. We done? Captain? <laughs> we sure are. Huh. Coming in for landing. Local Thick. time? Uh, should not encourage you. I knew you had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now, let's get the show started. After your introduction, our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought Guess that, that was scream. a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. What? It's Reggie all the way, and he demands What a weird do segment. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Shut a bitch. Okay, you're live in three, to 189.16 Good evening Gallows Creek. Mm. This is your host Forrest Nash and you're listening to 189.16 The Scream. Woo! Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. Wow. We need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? Mm. That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that, that scream. scream. What an interesting what do you mean, play thing. the tape. I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Wow. Come on, I gave it to you yesterday. Forrest, you do have the tape right. One second, you one second. Right. Peggy, let's be real. Guess that scream is a terrible idea. Yeah, it is awful. No, I, I don't have the tape. Stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. Hey, back. We're going to need to scream tonight, Forrest, and you're the one at the mic, so. Bitch, I ain't screaming. Really, Peggy? You want? I ain't you screaming. Want me to scream. You know the show depends on my golden voice, right? Come on, Forrest, just do it. No, Let's I'm not screaming. Down. You scream. Just scream and let it rip. I'll do an actual scream. Oh God. Uh, Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. I had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. 
What? A drowning scream? The falling from a cliff? The petrubit? Perturbed? Perturbed? Yeti scream? I've never heard of the word perturbed before. That's an interesting word. I'm guessing it's like, oh, like a fucking, um, like a Wookiee. Yeah, I was right. A Wookiee scream. Well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win. Thousand dollars to the amazing Maze Maze, and one free. You know what, Force? You don't sound very excited. Go. It's kind of pissing me off a little bit. Just call in at five 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 two three nine KFM with your guess. Now, here's some music while you get dialing. Uh, music. Music? Oh. Can I introduce the song? Um, yes. Time to go on the journey that is Blast Processor with their hit song, 1980X. Hmm. Oh, God, Forrest. I'm bopping. Amazing. Peggy, you're pissing Thanks. me off. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my week. Why did she do it? It was her idea. I ain't doing oh, it. Forrest, there's a call coming in. Time to turn the music off. Hello? Welcome to 189.16, The Scream, caller. You're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest. Thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Welcome to the show, Leslie. Are you calling in to guess that scream? As a 911 operator, I bet you may have an educated guess. What? No! Look, I found a body and I need. Your help. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah. Is calling me to report a body. Detective Kyle. Setup. All right, I'll bite. What's the punchline then? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not gonna be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a Calm prank. Calm down. I just shut the fuck up, Peggy. Leslie, I'll level with you. I find this hard to believe, but I'll hear you out. What exactly is going on? Sheriff Matthews is dead. What? Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I found him. Oh, God. Poor Sheriff Matthews. <laughs> Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and I really don't want to say what they did to him. Did he fight back? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but I don't I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or <laughs> whatever cops are supposed to do? No. I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up, and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after I found her. God, wait. Please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three, but Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself, let them know what's going on, and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, who's gonna man the emergency line? Yeah, what the That's fuck? The I operator ain't doing shit. Forrest, I've routed all 911 calls to come in to you. Why me? I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. 
I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. I'm not a 911 operator. Why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line around here. You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like an interview. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews, they sent me from Chicago to Gallows Creek, right? So I Where's heard. Gallows Creek but at? But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a food tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. You guys are fucking... Is there another way into the holding cell that you can see? It wouldn't be much of a holding cell if it had a back door. Any chance you could break down the door? It's a holding cell. Calm Warren. down! These doors aren't budging for anybody. God damn! I know that. I'm just asking There's questions. Be set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Probably Sheriff Matthews. Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he, you know. XD. I couldn't see any at a glance, but I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry, Sheriff. Why don't you call? I'm just going to turn you over and... Oh. Gross. Please don't stare at me. Gross. I... I got the, I, I, I I got got the, the cell keys. keys. Looks oh like my Sheriff god. Matthews might have saved his deputy. Does Let's the go. They do. Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Um. In the I'm fine. I'm also quitting them if it's a prank. <laughs> I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of anything like like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Interesting. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I don't think you really left. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. If the killer came back now, Martinez would be a sitting duck. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risk right now. Thank you, Forrest. You're welcome. You and Peggy just worked together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back. I wonder if Peggy. What? My car! My car is on fire! What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? I hear the whistler. No, no way. This can't. Well, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? What's that noise? It sounds like whistling? Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can it's see the it whistler! It's dead, right? Right? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? Who's the whistling man? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? What oh, the hell? God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? I do. He's coming this way. Lock the doors. Leslie, Run. stay inside and lock the doors. Right. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. You need to hide. I think you need to stay put and hide in the station. 
You should be safe in there. We can't just stay in here. I need to go get help. Well, you can't with and the guy outside, Leslie. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like you should take one of those. I Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any nuts. I'll just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and uh. Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, Forrest. Good thinking. But wait. How am, How am I, I supposed, supposed to get, get us to the car? car? You don't. You the just stay fucking right still. There. Let's. I think Sheriff Mart. I think we should take the deputies. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Let me grab it? I got you. I... Shit. It's empty. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. Damn, there should be bullets in a, in a, in a police station. Are, are there any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. I don't really want her to go anywhere, right, chat? I'm just a poor. I, I want her to kind of stay right. still and. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. Ooh, pepper spray. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I take? Pepper spray, obviously. The pepper spray should be easy to use and carry. Take that. Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? Nope. No. I, I can't hear anything. Uh oh. Be careful. I don't like it. I don't like Me it. Neither. But it's an opening. No! Okay. Uh, she's get, she's Martinez? pissing me off, Leslie. If you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. I don't like this. Again, this is not the play. Dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. Well, well, let's... Good luck. Wouldn't the pepper spray this be relevant if he has a mask? Comes out of nowhere, isn't it? Pepper spray <sighs> kind you know, of affects the air, so really wasn't can't breathe it in. When I came into work today. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in my murder them? Why? There's no way I was going to give give her a taser. Oh, I think we've got Leslie back on the line. Uh-oh. I'm putting the call through. I feel like it's not Leslie. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? This is Leslie. Are you there? Over. I'm here. 10-4. That's a big 10-4 there, good buddy. I, I'm guessing you made it to the car then? Sorry about the CB chat. Old habit. But yes, we made it to the car. Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Jesus! God damn it! Get, get back! Get away from her! Leslie, what's happening? Oh no. The whistling! No! Get off her, you son of a bitch! Use your pepper spray! Brant! That's so unrealistic. Leslie, what are you waiting for? Get out of there. Martinez. God damn it. Are you all right? D do you think you got away? Forrest. He slit her throat. You need to get to Henderson, Leslie. We can't let this happen again. Peggy's right. We've all got our part to play now. How long do you think it's going to take to get help? Gallows Creek is a nowheresville, but it's pretty damn close. It's going to take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. Two to three hours each way? We have to fill in for that long. That's the way it is. 
I'll be back as fast as I can. All right, both I... God damn it. I need a minute. I'll be out of range soon. I'll Chat. be back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. That is the most unrealistic thing I've heard in a video game. It pisses me off. Take care, Leslie. And be safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. <sighs> Chat. That is the most unrealistic thing ever. Do you guys have you guys ever been in a room of pepper spray? You, you can't fucking breathe. Killer on the streets of Gallows Creek tonight. I'm pissed. That should have worked. Make sure to stay safe. And Leslie. Mask or not. We're gonna get back to the show. Meanwhile. It's like awful. If you have anything on your mind or have any yes. information about this whistling man character, then give us a call. We'll talk here on 189.16. It doesn't screen. matter if you have for a mask now, on. Here's that mask can't for you fucking to breathe good oxygen in. It's a fucking... It's an H2O Delirious mask, mask, dog. That shit ain't doing shit. This is not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Did she really say it's going to take her four And you have to hours? see through a mask. This guy's going to kill half the town in four hours. Forrest, that's not We're gonna helpful. going to kill everybody. I know, I know. I just... <sighs> Who is this Whistling Man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney went around in a freaky mask, whistling, and killed about a dozen folks in Gallows Creek. No reason for it. No motive. He just did. He just did. That's a big boo. <laughs> and come back tonight. It's Probably one of the most unrealistic. It's supposed to be a realistic video point. game, I feel like. We call it whistling. But it pisses me off. They didn't, and it was, they didn't match well, that with reality. It was on this night, actually. Right. The police cornered him, and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is, he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's, what's the, the truth? truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. I don't know. Do our best. So we're screwed, because it sounds like we're screwed. We're not screwed. Things just aren't great right now. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind of listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could be around 35? 35? Isn't 3,500? Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that large. No, 35 people. At best. Damn. 35 at best? 35, yeah. It's a school night. And what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand. Your goal is to probably get more How viewers over get time. Before? That's a little fucked. You know. Seems before like before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people. Yeah, before that. Around five for most shows on the low end. Big gas could pump that up to ten, fifteen, easy. Five thousand on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. What? Million? Where yeah, is this guy? That's just the way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. I guess. Yeah, I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call coming in. Take it when you're ready. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. Bitch. Hello, caller. You're live on 189.16, The Scream. Is everything, uh, all right? Oh god. Hello. Okay, uh, who is this? Are you uh hello? Oh. Hello? I think he's snoring. Okay, what's your name and why are you calling in? Oh, I don't like that. You know my name. I've come back from the dead to kill again. No one's safe. 
Do you accept requests? I've got a list of names I'd love to see in the obituaries. A sacrifice to us. I, I mean, me. <laughs> we'll do that. We want cheese dusted pretzels. I mean, I want cheese dusted pretzels. Or I'll cut your face off. Goddamn kids. I'm cutting them off. Not yet. I want to deal with them. Uh, we also want a mega goal. <sighs> okay, so cheese dusted pretzels and a mega goal behind the gas station. You got it, whistling man. Uh, Needless to say, I won't actually be going out to the gas station to buy anything for these kids. And none of you should be going out tonight either. We've got an actual killer out there. Anyway, this next one's dedicated to all of you staying inside with your doors and windows locked. Oh shit, I was trying to do hooray. What are we doing now? Endless music? Hope you enjoy this one as much as I. We gotta do. continue the show, boys. Peggy, what the hell was that? Kids pretending to be a killer who right now is stalking the town. It's a thing. A thing of thirty-five Ugh, people who are listening. They pull pranks pretending to be him. By pretending to be this whistling man character. They think it's funny, but it's not. It's not funny at all. Oh, and there's no funny. chance that our whistling man was just a prank. That Leslie. No, that. That's real. Christ. Let's stay positive. We still have a show to do. We already have another caller on the line. All right. Let's do this. When you're ready, shut the music off. Hello, caller. You're live on the stream with me, Forrest Nash. What? I, I dialed 911. I need the sheriff right no! away. No. Okay, right. Well, I'm filling in for 911 tonight. What's your name and what's your trouble? Stressful. Uh, is Sandra Sharp and I need the cops now. I'm sorry, Sandra, but the sheriff is dead. We're trying to get help in from Henderson now. What? God. Listen, you've got to help me then. No, I'm going to fuck up. Down for a jazz run and now some psycho dressed like the whistling man is after me. Knife in hand. Oh God, it's actually happening. Where are you now? Did you escape to somewhere safe? Oh, I did, baby. I yeah, baby. Ran all the way to my car and nothing flat. But I dropped my keys somewhere along the way. You fucking I dick. I got a place to hide, but I can't get moving. Is there anywhere else you can go? Do you have any friends nearby? Oh, I'm not going back out there. I... Uh-oh. Oh, oh shoot. Oh, he's back. Oh, oh no. I don't, know I don't fucking know anything about cars. The keys, and you're gonna have to help me. Wait, wait, wait. I don't... I don't know how to do that. How do I do this? You're listening to 189.16, The Scream. Hosted by me, Forrest Nash, your friendly neighborhood radio host, mechanic, and. Where's a book? Savior. Sit tight while the record spins, folks. This one goes out to you. I need a car Sandra. book! You're gonna love this next track. 
Doesn't the station have a show about cars? The Tamora Twins or something. Timberline Twins Talk Motors. Yeah. You know they're Thanks not even brothers. Really? They look the same, though. Um, we should know, be focusing. They're not even related. It's weird. I asked them about it once, and they got really Ooh, sweaty nice and defensive. Anyway, go see what you can find. The offices are out the door and down the hall. That's awful. Hey, Buck. Keep the hour. I need a goddamn book. Craft work? Probably not. Truck. Now this has to be important. I brought your car thief magazine. Those. I brought your car thief magazine. Those Quavos ranchos aren't sitting right. Gonna need something to read. Pray for me. Take it to the toilet or some shit. I can't go back because go back might kill our friend. I wasn't playing the sire same record. Yeah, it's so much for. F I wonder why they're failing. Okay, um, thirty-five viewers. If you played a different song, you might change your. Where would he take it? He took it. Yes, I killed somebody, chat. I killed somebody. Yeah, I have to use a restroom. I'll be right back. Uh, you guys can talk some amongst yourselves and tell me, uh, tell me how to fucking figure this out. Ah, oh, chat, chat, chat. I can't believe you guys. I can't believe it. Ah. Uh, hands are wet. Um, fuck. All right, we gotta find. What are we doing? We gotta find. So he. I borrowed your car thief magazine. Those. Okay, so what, what are we doing again, by the way? Guys, I took a shit because I had to, right? I got the shit scared out of me. What's this? this drilling spree ad i put this in my pocket so if he took it who know why they follow um what do we do if he took it he took it home i think maybe he sat on the toilet with it right so many locked doors so few keys God, that's scary. Maybe it's out here. No. No, I don't think so. <gasps> Is this it? This looks useful. Yes, it's a car magazine. Bum, bum, bum. I knew he took the shitter. He took it to the shitter. Hmm. Uh, how do I put this down? Oh, step one, use screwdriver as key. If that fails, remove steering column cover. Step two, serial numbers, then strip and twist. Ah, oh, did she call in? Did I kill her? I should have taken this to the bathroom. This would have been so helpful. Did you find anything? Yeah, I found a magazine about hot wiring cars. Well, that's how convenient. Perfect. How convenient. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. 
Ah, so lame. Caller? Caller on line one. Thanks, Peggy. Thanks, Peggy. We're back with 189.16, Peggy 18. The Scream. How are you holding up, Sandra? The creep's looking through the parking lot trying to find me. But I've got my tools, and I'm ready to get this hunk of junk moving. How do we start this, baby? Use. Use screwdriver as key. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist the clock. Put the screwdriver in the ignition and twist clockwise. Here goes, baby. I... I... Oh. That fails. Remove steering column I'm cover. Fit. What next? Hit the steering wheel with the hammer. Unscrew the steering column. All right. Just turn. Just turn. What? The voice acting in this is okay. I actually don't like Forrest's voice acting as much as I like hers. Doing great. Do your jazz breathing. Don't panic. Okay. We can do this. There's a red wire, a blue wire, a yellow wire, a, a green wire, and oh, a brown wire. What? Hey, okay, what's the serial number on the column? What's the serial number on the steering column? Okay, if there's a zero at the end and three doesn't become be come before a six and three doesn't become the zero at the end and three doesn't become doesn't come before a six so yes it's the bottom one so red and yellow strip and twist together the red and yellow wires all right I strip the purple wire. Strip the purple wire. Do not touch the live wire. Strip the purple wire and twist on it. Twist the purple and brush against the twist wire. Strip the brush against the twisted. You don't want to go live wire. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Strip the purple wire and brush against the twisted wires. Okay, okay. We strip and we brush and... Woohoo! <gasps> buddy! Fantastic work, baby! Anytime you want to come down to the jazz studio, you get in for free! Woo! We did it! I almost can't believe it, but we did it! Nice work, Forrest. I bet Sandra is positively jazzed that you answered her call. Thank you. Bet I am, baby. We saved one. Mission success. We did it, Forrest. We sure did. Here comes another hit track that we're ja excited to share with you. And remember, if you're also having car troubles, then tune in to Timberline Twins Talk Motors here on 189.16, Monday to Friday at 5. Take it away, Forrest. I still can't believe this is happening. <sighs> right? Like Gallows Creek didn't already have enough to worry about? What do you mean? Gallows Creek is a miserable place to live. live I agree. Miserable? It's nothing personal, Peggy, but it's not Chicago or... Hell, it's not really anywhere. Well, I like it here. People are polite and, uh... Maybe he's a killer. Stab happy? Don't be awful, Forrest. Mm. Come on, there must be something you like about this place. After a while, you don't even notice the smell? I guess that's nice. Smell? What the... There's no smell. Uh. <laughs> you... You've lived here your whole life, Peggy. You wouldn't recognize it by now. Anyway, I hope the killer is done for the night and that Leslie gets back soon. Me too. 
I feel bad Can because at least call off that stupid guess the scream contest now. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. Okay, so we have another 2 hours right before we get it. Caller on line 1. Mic check. Action you follow. Time to turn the music off. Evening caller. This is Forrest Nash. Host of 189.16, The Scream. And tonight's 911 stand in. Hey, Forrest. My name is Brian. Uh, uh, Brian Ponty. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. Hello, oh, Brian. Hello, Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. What have you got to say about what's happening? Oh, I'm so sad that Deputy. I feel like one of the people that are calling is evil. I saw her a lot over the years down here at Ponty's Pizza. Just terrible. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to thank you for doing Might be Ponty. best. <laughs> so I'm sending you some coupons for free pizza here at Ponty's Pizza. Just a little something to look forward to when all this blows over. Wow. Brian Ponty of Ponty's Pizza. That's really good of you. You really don't have to. Unnecessary. Oh, I really, Ponty, like you know what's going on right now? People are dying. Like we need to focus, well, Ponty. I don't want to hear your pizza region right now. Sounds great, bro. And let me tell you, the pizza we have is to die for. Oh. That was pretty tasteless, I have to say. I'm sorry, Forrest. Well, I just hope I didn't put you or anyone else of coming on down to Pony's Pizza. We've got a great special this week. Just advertising? Our famous beer and pizza deal. Wait a minute. Come on down to Pony's Pizza this weekend. You've just got to pay for one slice to get yourself. God damn it. You're just calling in to advertise your shop. For, for, Peggy, hang up on him done oh real quick before i forget it's probably time we played a paid ad now a word from our sponsors you know how to play an ad right yes hello i have this ad <laughs> sure <laughs> done thanks can i grab another beer hey sure thing let me grab you one out of the fridge oh no we had a beer what am I gonna do? The party is going to be over! Fear not! A grilling spray will give you a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins this Tuesday. What? Say what? That's right. Order a meal deal from us and you'll get a free six pack of beer if Gallus High wins. A free six pack? Righteous! You heard me. Six beers if Gallus High wins. Sounds like you've already had enough beers. <laughs> I hope we murder. Ew. <laughs> I feel like he threw Me up. Me too, Billy. Me too. Uh, maybe a wrong ad. Come on down to Grilling Spring. I'll call off 555 five, five, seven, four, nine, three, three, five. Five. We've got barbecue you'll die for. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Forrest. Do you know what the Grill Reaper's favorite grilling spree order is? Your mom. Uh, I have a feeling you're going to tell me. Spare ribs. Uh, just get me back on the air. Got me. And we're back. We're back. We got a caller. You know what to do. Welcome to the Scream with me, Forrest Nash. Yeah, Leslie. This is Maurice Russell from the Gallows Reporter. I'm at the office. This guy just broke in downstairs and wait. Forrest Nash? I want to speak to 911. Put Leslie on. What? God, another one? I'm guessing you've not been tuned in to our show tonight. Damn it, son. What does that have to do with anything? Just put me on with Sheriff Matthews. Sheriff Matthews is dead. Dead? What happened? Did you witness the incident? Are you willing to do an interview for the reporter? I can say. 
cite you as an anonymous source. Oh my god. Concern? We're live on the air. Anything we say can and will be broadcast. Live on Damn it. All right. There's obviously a lot more going on than I know. I can tell. Yeah, you, there's a lot happening tonight. You said someone broke in. That's nothing to get worked up about. Some idiot kid just broke in. Dressed as the whistling man. Uh oh. Teen. They get worse every year. Uh, this punk wasn't even a disappointing twinkle in his daddy's eye when Edward Marshall Mooney stalked the town. But I was there. I covered it. Maurice, I don't know what's going on, but he's back. The whistling man is back. Don't be an ass, Nash. This motherfucker! They think it's funny. How do we convince him? Deal, old man. But they didn't live through the terror 30 years ago. I gotta figure out how to anyway, I know for get his head out of his ass. Edward how do I do this? Pointy's Pizza. Killed Sheriff Matthews. Where are you now? I'm in the boardroom. Upstairs. We got security cameras all around the building. You can watch them on any TV set here. And there's a set in the boardroom. Maurice, is there any way you can get out of there? Ah, I sure as shit hope so, kid. But I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. That crash you heard was him tipping over my filing cabinets. Damn. He's blocking the stairs. I'm guessing the stairs are the only way out. That's right. And it would take me a good few minutes to move those cabinets. Uh. We need to do something. But what? All we can do from here is... I mean... Forrest, I think I've got it. Why don't we call the killer? How would we, we have know? a bunch of phones set up across the office, right? Oh. In different rooms, with different extensions. So we call one of them. Draw the killer away. Buy Murray's time. That could work. That could work. Exactly. It's worth a shot. I can hear you, you know. The son of a bitch hasn't killed me yet. Yeah, sorry, Maurice. Peggy and I were just trying to figure out... You realize how stupid that plan sounds, That's right? That's Peggy's plan. For that to be successful, you're gonna need every phone extension. Plus, a plan of the entire office floor. All delivered while the killer is en route. I've got it. Thank God I've always been cool under pressure. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. I'm here to save the day. I'm here to say. You, you don't think the killer got him, do you? Mr. Russell. I'm here. The freak's going to be here any second too. Go check your fax machine. Don't let me down. Fax machine, fax machine. Fax machine? Go, Forrest! The fax machine's in the office on the other side of the hall. Thanks, Peggy. Be right back. Hey, squad cheating, follow dude. Okay. Go to the office on the other end of the hall. Grab the fax from the machine. Easy. This must be it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm great under pressure, so. If there's anything else I can grab while I'm out there. Can I look really quick? Please. I'm not getting in there tonight. Damn, she's leaving me. She's she's not opening the door once. Um Okay, so he is upstairs. The only way down. There's a cubicle. The only way down is there. That's where the stairs is. 
He has to literally go through all of them. He could go. How does he get out? Where's he out? Where's the exit? I don't see. Oh, wait. Exit one, two. Wait. Two extensions. Hi, Black Mare. Um, cubicles. Secret Archive. Fax. I might have to fax him something back. Maybe he can fax me something. I don't know where to tell him to go. Probably three is the farthest or four. Four is pretty close to the door where he can see it. I don't know what to tell him. Hey, did you get the fax? I did, yes. Yes, I have. Mr. Russell, you uh you still with us? I am. He's you dead. My fax? The fucking ass fax. Yeah, I got it right here. Good. I knew you could at least manage that. Okay, folks, we're back on the line. I kind of want him to send me a second Let's fax. I should have asked. Him. Avoid the whistling man. Here's the situation. The whistling man searched every room in the hall leading up to the boardroom. And now he's in the office next door. It's now or never. This plan of yours better work. I'm ready on my end, Forrest. Again. We want to draw the killer away by dialing an extension number and then move Maurice somewhere safe. So, what extension should I call? He's in the kitchen. I want him to call three. Call far away, right? Editor's office. Call the editor's office. The extension is zero three. Got it. I'll put the call through when you're ready. All right, Nash. Where do I need to go? I want him to go to the kitchen. You're moving to the kitchen. Yeah, that makes sense. Go somewhere he's already checked. Not bad, Nash. I'm ready to place the call. Are you ready, Mr. Russell? Don't have much choice, do I? Because once we Make call him call. out of the kitchen. Yes, sir. Calling now. Oh my god, I'm fucking stressed. This guy's dead. I can't believe it. He's actually heading to my office. Don't worry, Maurice. You can thank me when you're safely home. Thank you. It's your producer I'll be crediting. God if damn it. I make it through this. The coast is clear. I'm shutting off the TV. So he won't see me but he's in the kitchen. Cameras. Motherfuckers in the. Then, making my move. I'll call when I get there. Do you think he'll make it okay? I don't. I'm sure he'll be. No, if he will. But now what do we do? We gotta find some way for him to get past that barricade. What do you mean? I don't think calling the whistling man is gonna buy Maurice enough time to move those cabinets. We gotta think of something else. Yeah. Maybe we could. Oh. Call incoming. You ready? Not really. I don't think I'll ever be ready for this stuff. Don't worry, Forrest. You've got this. I've got Mr. Russell on the line. Alrighty. Mr. Russell, are you there? I am. I don't think he saw me. I've got to give you credit for that. But I'm not out of the woods yet. Uh, I don't know what right. to do! Let's review where we are. So, the only way out is by the stairs which the whistling man has blocked with furniture. Exactly. I, I can move the furniture out of the way, but not quickly or quietly. Maybe you could fight him. You know, knock him out for a few seconds. Son, I am 55 I'm just going old. for it. If this freak killed Sheriff Matthew, Okay, that's a good comp. Ah, this was 1951. <laughs> back when I was a champion. Oh that's no, shut up. He's stressing me out, man. He's stressing me out. Could you lock him in a room? That'd probably buy you time enough, right? Maybe. But the damn fire regulations in the 
say every door in the office has to unlock from the inside. He'd be able to get out just as soon as... Wait. Wait, wait. No. No, no, no. I got it. The secret archive through my office. Where we keep our most sensitive records. Ooh, a secret archive? How do you get in? Reggie would love that. What have you got back there? Juicy secrets about outer space? Peggy. I don't think now is the time to be playing around like that. You're right. Sorry, oh, I'm Boris. stressed. Kids, we're in the big time now. I've got it all figured out. The secret archive. There's no lock on the inside of that room. Only the outside. He it? can't break out. If we can get him in there, and I lock him in... We can catch the son of a gun. Exactly. Oh my god. Forrest, we might be able to end the nightmare right here. So should I call the secret archive then? You can't. The archive is a room for secrets, not gossip. So we don't have a phone in there. We have to move oh, a phone in there. We're gonna need to change it up then. Any ideas, Forrest? Is there a TV in that room? Maybe that could draw him in. Ah, of course. I turn it up, he comes in, and I get my head chopped off. Hmm. Think of something else. Maybe we could use a radio. There's no radio in the secret archive. You want to bait Are yourself? There no radios at your offices? I don't have one in my office, but... What is it? Our sports reporter, Hopkins. He has a little portable radio he never turns off when he's here. I'm glad you got a radio fan there. Does he listen to 189.16, The Scream, Gallows Creek's best and only late night Oh my god, show. what are we doing? Jesus, Nash. I'd expect that level of self-advertisement from Brian Ponty, not you. <laughs> Don't be a Ponty, Forrest. That's low. Will you idiots focus now? All right. His portable radio should still be here. He's being pretty loud. It should be in the archive. Actually, I'll sneak over while our friend is still distracted with his search. I'll call you back once I've got the radio. Fuck. We're gonna save him, Forrest. I don't think we are. Heck, if this works, we might even save the whole town. There's still a lot to do before we celebrate. Let's just see how mm. it goes first. What do you mean? He's not out of there yet. He's still gotta find the radio, unblock the stairs. I know, but we've got a plan for how to do that. And, oh, call incoming from the reporter. Putting it through now. Nash, hello? Nash, are you there? I'm here. God, he's so loud. Okay? I found the radio. It's right where I thought it would be. It's all coming together. I'm just going to turn it on quickly, make sure it's still got some juice. No, no. Maurice, turn the volume down. We don't want that thing blasting just yet. Yeah, yeah, I knew that, Nash. I was just doing that when you yelled at me. The radio works. If I make it out alive, Hopkins might just yeah, this get is that easier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, he's earned it. Let's do it for Hopkins, Forrest. But he's in the editor's office, so I don't really know. Wait. Oh, God damn it. If I can't have this stupid thing turned up, how am I supposed to draw the killer? I can't be in the room when it's on, or I'm dead. You just... Oh, that's a good point. But wait, we're the radio. We can just be quiet until you're ready. Eh, if you can do that, then... Yeah, sure. 189.16. Now, even when I know something for a fact, I like to double-check. But after your earlier self advertised That's why I self advertised me. I don't think that. That's why I self advertised chat. I'm such a silent, genius. But I'm tuned in. Now, I just need to get to my office. Sounds like we need to make another call, Forrest. Where should we send the killer? Let's send him to the boardroom. Call the boardroom. The extension is 04. That might work. The boardroom is fairly close to the editor's office, but we haven't seen the killer go there yet. Are you sure? I'm sure that's fine, right?
Why would it not be fine? I'm sure. Make the call. Okay. Calling the boardroom now. Answered, right? He's on the move. I'll call you guys from my office in a second. Looks like we're almost through this nightmare. Any idea what you'll why, say to Why would it not be okay? I'm going to do my best impersonation of Maurice. I think that'll draw the killer in. What's your Mr. Russell impression? I think I gave that mask freak to slip. What? what a great plan this is, Pearl. Uh, I'll give you an A. I was effort. pretty good. Ooh, call coming in. Here we go. I'm here. The radio set up in the secret archive. Just give me the signal, and I'll turn it all the way up. Where will you hide in the meantime? I am the... Uh, Bathroom in the archive. Bathroom. It's under my desk, but uh, you can see... The women's or the men's bathroom? I've got a big cabinet, but uh, that'll take me a second to get into. Anywhere else? Uh, Bathroom. Really. There's the secret archive itself, but... Uh, that's where the kill is going. I could try the cubicles, but they're pretty far away. I think the woman's restroom. Your judgment has kept me alive so far, Nash. What do you reckon? Hide in your cabinet. Maybe I'm not. All right. Maybe I'm not pissed. Well, so happy. This is it. Turn the radio up to full blast now. Don't say anything until I've had time to hide. You got it? We know the plan. You can trust us. Here we go. I feel like he can't live. Like, I thought, like, he would go to the bathroom. Like, why is this guy trying to be a hero? I think it should be safe now, Forrest. That's it! No more hiding! I'm a tough old man! I've been on the beat longer than you've been alive! Come on down, whistling man! Come and get a knuckle sandwich! Listeners, this is Forrest Nash of 189.16, The Scream. And if you've just tuned in... See you in hell, kid! We've just locked up the Whistling Man. Forrest, you beautiful bastard! <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked! If I'm being honest, I can't believe it either. We did it! Thank God, it's over! Woo! I'll be off now. Gotta get out of here. Woo, we I did it. Notes. First try. All of you friends. I feel safer waiting for the cops to come grab this freak with some company. Hey, maybe you and me could do an interview tomorrow for the gallows reporter. I'll think about it. We'll see what tomorrow brings. I'll take that as a yes. Talk to you soon.